So our multi-touch model is working on that power of 12 marketing touches, 12 activities that the prospects are going to see. So our multi-touch model must find sufficient prospects to feed in to replace the ones that we're marketing to. So the first challenge on these programs is to find enough quality suspects to feed in to, to start the process. And then we need an efficient and continuous conversion to prospects. So we need to efficiently take people from one place where they, they might be interested in you to actually along the process developing touch to, yes, I do actually want to talk to these guys. This is the business that is best suited to my needs and are going to listen to, to my concerns about what I need. We can also use these programs if we've got customers that already buy from us, but perhaps buy not very frequently or don't buy a lot from us. And it might be that we can educate that pool of existing customers who might love a little bit of what we do and encourage them to try a bit more. So these programs work really well. These multi-touch programs work really well on your existing customers as well as for your cold prospects. And all the time we're going through those 12 touches, we're tracking and we're refining, we're measuring every time. And because these things are so targeted, it's very easy to measure the response of an individual or business. So it might be we need to talk to two or three individuals who are decision makers within one business that's on profile for you. And because we're tracking, measuring, monitoring, the more of these programs you run, the better you become. You can tweak things and adapt things so that they work slightly better each time. And you're measuring all the time how many leads you're converting. And then we need to just replenish. So, so as, those prog as those programs continue and people move through the 12 touches, we need to start with another batch and a third batch and so on. So the challenge is to keep replenishing that pool.